All right, let's go ahead and proceed with game two of MTV's remote control for the NES. Okay, that's how I put my name in. Oh. Ah. <sighs> now I only have my fir first letter of my name in there. Oh well, that's okay. The Brady Network. Which Brady once got a smashed up nose thanks to a football in the face? I think that was Marsha? Yes! Channel number five. Once they just said to look beautiful, now they have to memorize all those big words. These are models turned actors. Who played the villainess killed by 007 in Never Say Never Again, and then played Angelica Nero on TV's Dallas? Hmm. Well, she says Barbara Carrera, and that's right. When 1970s Cover Girl played the older woman in the summer 42. Well, it's a Jennifer, we know that. And it's Jennifer O'Neill, apparently. What skinny, skinny British model was the rage in the 60s and did a cameo in the Blues Brothers? Tiny Tina? No. Wasn't Cher. Yep, it was Twiggy. The Bob Channel. Robert, Roberto, Rob, Bobby. Robbie, a Bob by any other name would still answer to Bob. Name the actor who played America's favorite little buddy on Gilligan's Island. I'll say Bob Denver. Alright. Bob Mackey is a famous costume designer known for outrageously clothing Sonny Bono's former partner. Name her. Twiggy, Nancy Reagan, or Cher? Okay, not Nancy Reagan. Twiggy? Nope. Cher was the right answer. Yes? Your mother and I are going to watch a movie. Okay. Uh, if the doorbell rings, you answer it, okay? Okay. Okay, Brady Physics. Greg drives the family station wagon at 90 60 per second straight off Flagstaff of Staff Mountain, which has a slope of 45 degrees. How much hang time does Greg get before impact? Six seconds. Did you skip a lot of school as a kid? I did not skip any skip school at all, actually. Okay, we haven't seen Channel 1 yet. Bald guys. Babe boned and balding after Vic Tabat played short order cook Mel Sharples on what popular sitcom?
seasons all in the family had viewers spellbound. Speaking of spellbound, spell Meathead's last name. Uh, I think it was... Yeah, S-T-I-V-I-C. Okay, let's see what's it. Oh, it's on channel 7. Movie channel. Before that, I did it interrupted by commercials. Some movies actually play in theaters. No kidding! Complete this line from the classic detective movie starring Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway. Forget it, Jay. This is. This is Chinatown. You, my friend, are indeed a super genius. Thank you! I'm also tied to the lead now. Channel 8. Still more MTV. This sad and skinny New York folky made it big with Luca, a bouncy little tune about child beating. Name her. Cindy Lauper? Nope. Suzanne Vega. Back to the movie channel. In Love Movie, did Dudley Moore play a lovable rich alcoholic who falls in love with Liza Minnelli? Ten R for a foul play. Not ten. Uh, I'll say foul play. Nope. Weirdos on the Rise with a record called Globe of Frog. Starring Hitchcock, Kate Bush, Sinead O'Connor. Not Sinead O'Connor. Not Kate Bush. And it's Robin Hitchcock. And we didn't get to see what was on Channel 9. But what we do see is that we've got a close game at the end of the first round. Lauren has 35, me and Pablo each have 30. So let's see what happens in the second half. Gourmet Channel. cereal does Toucan Sam Hawk on TV? Oh, we just had this question in the last game. It's Fruit Loops. How many strips of bacon are there in the BLT? And we had this in the last game, too. It's zero. Did you skip a lot of school as a kid? I did not. I didn't skip any school, actually. All right. Who is good and plenty candy to make his train run? Choo Choo Charlie, Steam Train, Sand, Ticket Taker, Tom. I'll say Choo Choo Charlie. And that's right. Cosby Show. The Cosby Show, the Bill Cosby Show, and the new Bill Cosby Show. On which did Bill play a character named Chet Kincaid? 
Well, it definitely was not the Cosby Show, because he was Cliff Huxley. Well, I'll say the Bill Cosby Show. And the Bill Cosby Show is right. Name Sandra's new husband on the Cosby Show. Melvin, Alvin, or Elvin? It's Elvin. I don't think he had a character named Melvin. And Alvin was one of the chipmunks. Alvin! Or actually, no, it sounded like this. Alvin! Name the Cosby Show character, once known as Combustible Huxtable. Uh, was it Russell? No. So it's either Claire or Cliff. Oh, it's Cliff himself! Okay, I did not know that. Bon Jovi channel. According to ancient belief, Love God John Bon Jovi's world is made up of earth, air, fire, and what other element? Smoke, bacon, water. Uh, water. Yep. Still more prime time. On St. Elsewhere, Steve Allen and Jane Meadows guest star as the strange and obnoxious parents of which strange and obnoxious doctor? Not Wayne Fiscus. It was Victor Erlich. Fan might be able to hire you as a writer? <laughs> Five black and white TV. Ooh, this definitely takes us back. Let's go back to the golden age of black and white television. So this would be like 1950s, 1960s. She really drank blood, that is. What was the name of Herman Munster's wife? Lola Melder or Lily? It was Lily. I'm awash in the glow of that fine, fine answer. And that was a fine answer. Channel 4, PhD TV. It's PhD TV. These are advanced questions for those seeking a doctorate in television trivia. The immortal Tim Conway played what role on McHale's Navy? Einstein Parker. Are you related to Einstein or something? I don't think any of us are related to Einstein. Anyway, Pablo's up to 40 points. What was Edith Bunker's maiden name? Oh, boy. I'll say Baines. That was just a complete guess. You know, when you die, you gotta donate your brain to science. Yeah, like that'll happen. MASH. Nurse Debbie Clark became passionately involved with what cigar-smoking, hot-nosed Corporal Fairy Knuckles. Uh, Hawkeye? No. Clinger. PhD TV again. What does the T in Star Trek Commander James T. Kirk's name stand for? Tiberius. Okay. Pablo's at 70 points. 
Only five away from second place. Still more prime time. On ALF, Gordon Shumway is known by another name. What is it? Trevor Monick, Willie Tanner, or ALF? Oh, shoot! I did not mean to hit that one. Ah, that was the one I was trying for, but... Uh, I ran out of time. Oh, off the air. That means Pablo's out of here. Pablo's done. He's got. Done. So he finishes with 70. Now the thing real fast lightning. I'll give you the zany catchphrase eating the TV show that made it famous. Okay. Isn't that special? I pity the fool. Come on down. Book of Dano. Oh. Ah! The plane. The plane. Ah! Time's up. And I win! And there's my face again. So that means there's going to be a third game of this coming soon. And and for those wondering, no, there's no difficulty setting for the AI on this game. But anyway, I will see you soon.